Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, you're right, my name is Kelvin Mack and welcome to STEM Saturday. I'm excited about today because today we learn about buoyancy and density. What floats your boat? And the reason why I'm excited about today is because our kids are really learning about water. Living in New Orleans, we have to understand now that we have to live with water and that will be forever. So now our kids are understanding you know, how things float, why things float, why it's necessary for things to float. Then they're going to design and build their own boat, a wind boat, a swamp boat, Cape Your Second Kid's gonna build a sailboat, then they're gonna have a race. But the point is that we live on the Mississippi River and they see ships and boats moving goods and products from around the world. And they need to understand that this is, a, this is an economy, it's a business, a multi-billion dollar business that they can partake in. So when you drill a small hole first, it's called a pilot hole. And then you can get screw in after, so it's kind of to help guide your screw or your, your dowel in. It's called a pilot I'm so proud of STEM NOLA and what it is doing for our young people. Uh, it's a transformative program. Uh, it's opening the young people's minds up to science, technology, engineering, and math training them up to be future leaders, future problem solvers, uh, not being afraid of technology, not being afraid to be innovative, and that's what our children need. They need confidence. They need to be able to tackle problems, and that's what STEM is giving them the tools to be able to do. So with that, I'm just so excited to always support STEM Noel. I'm so proud of Dr. Mackey and what he's doing. These type of events are extremely important because primarily it inspires people that are otherwise not exposed to this type of industry. They don't realize it. I didn't realize when I was a kid uh, that this was open to us. In fact, it wasn't open to us until later years. But when I, once I got into it and I, and I love boats, I said, hey, I'd, I'd like to try. The same thing with these kids here, they would get exposed to it. It may be four, five, six of them out of the crowd that would like to do it, and, and they're, they're showing the pathway forward to, to do it. city like New Orleans, you saw just yesterday how we flooded just after a few minutes of rain. Uh, and with, the, with climate change being what it is, we have to be able to address and deal with the, the weather patterns. And learning about STEM, learning about buoyancy, learning about water uh, will put us on a path to be able to deal with that so we can turn it into a strength. Who's the voter? You won the race.